What's cracking, YouTube? Man, back with another video. And today's video is going to be kind of informational slash a uh, little, little different, man. Today is car audio day, man. Today I'm about to wire up radio. We're going to try to wire in the door speakers. We're going to do the uh, dash speakers. We got all that, all of it from Scar Audio. God, it was the sun. Sorry if I can't see me, the sun is everywhere, but you know, everything from Scar Audio, like I was saying, because, I'm trying to say CD now, Scar Audio is the way to go. I don't care what anybody says, because in the game right now, where I live at, digital design is actually built in my home state, but you think I'm paying 800 for a sub, you out of your mind. So, uh, yeah, we going with Scar the whole way. From the six by nines to the five and a half to the three and a halves, and we're gonna see how it sounds. We get it all hooked up. But whoever put this in the car, whoever I, you know, the previous owner, he butchered all the radio wires. So I'm not gonna be able to buy just a little plug and play connector and hook it up. So I'm actually gonna show y'all how to read a schematic as you're going through this to find your wires, what wires go to what, and then we just gonna wire it up and see if it works because it's uh, yeah, he's got all kind of wires everywhere that he cut and spliced and so that's gonna be the fun part about getting the radio wired up but right now we're on our way to walmart i gotta grab a dash install kit the good old skosh dash install kit we used to throw these in in high school all the time we get them and i mean we break them 90 percent of the time so we'd be sticking self-tapping screws in there to hold what we broke but we're gonna do that get that in and uh, I also need to get some stuff for the crib. You know, you gotta do your husbandly duties. I gotta get some crest white strips or something like that for my wife. I don't know why, but yeah, she says she need those. So I'm gonna cut y'all back on. We get to Walmart and see if we can find us a radio install kit. And I'm gonna see if they, I almost forgot, I gotta see if they sell just the wires for the radio. Cause my damn CD player, I lost the wiring harness to it, so. Hopefully I can find one. If not, then I'm just gonna have to buy another cheap little head unit, probably a little Sony or something though. For right now, cause it's the holiday season. And if you like me and you work in the automotive business, you know what that means, especially if you're in the shop. That mean ain't shit going on. So everything is on budget friendly right now. But yeah, I'm gonna cut y'all back on when we get in this Walmart and uh, see what we can find for the car. We done pulled up to the Walmart. I'm trying to find this damn kit, man. I done found one. This shit say, I mean, sorry about cursing. General Motors, 82 to 05. But looking at it, it say, where it say? Right there, Monte Carlo, 86 to 88. I got an 85. I don't know if, I don't know if they done changed it or not, but. Hopefully this kit work. I mean, it's only $15. If it don't work, it's 15 bucks for a single den. And just as I expected, man, they don't sell the, the radio connector that I need for the back of my little Sony radio. So it look like I'm gonna be having to buy a new radio, which I just got this one right here anyway. So I'm gonna just probably grab another one of them. It's only $80 anyhow. So I'm gonna grab me one of them, get it installed. So I found what I need. I'm gonna have to get that. All right, grab me some of the speaker wire right here so I can run these new door speakers in. Get those in and wired up. And then I need to get probably a terminal in kit from somewhere, which I, I tried that one. They got right over there, but that one ain't no good. So I'm gonna grab this. I right, grab some of this speaker wire. I have to grab a new radio, so. That's $80 I don't want to spend on a radio, but you know, it is what it is. What happens when you're trying to build these old cars? So we're going to get that, get that, and then we're going to go pick up these crest white strips from the front and head back to the crib and get started trying to get all this wired up, get the speakers in. And y'all going to see at the same time if I do, if I can get this to fit an 85. So, yeah, man, we're going to cut y'all back on when we get back to the house. So I made it back to the crib. We're going through all of this stuff that we're gonna have to try to get mounted up. 
to the to the money. So actually, if I had paid enough attention to this, this actually does fit an 85 because it has the 85. Make sure I see, make sure I'm looking right. Am I tripping? Yeah, so it has an 85 El Camino, which is the exact same as the Monte Carlo, so it does fit. I got the mounts mounted up. God, this TV is loud. We got the mounts mounted. We got this set up. I already built this dash kit, which if you need it, I'll tell you the mounts you need to buy with this. If you use this, if you got a G-Body, all of these are just extra. You need to find mount C. 2C, I think is what it is. Yeah, mount two, and you'll have to cut off brackets A and B on them and just use bracket C and it'll fit. But anyway, we're about to go out to the car. I'm gonna show y'all if we can get this radio to power up because we've got some SCAR. Like I said, we're gonna do all SCAR. SCAR five and a halves, the three and a halves. I already mounted the six by nines in the trunk. Those are already mounted. I'll show y'all how I mounted those. And then we're gonna start going through this wire and seeing if I can figure out what wire is what to power up this radio. All this is just gonna be loosely done. I'm not gonna fully mount anything up today. I may off camera, but I'm just trying to show y'all loosely how to go through the wiring on these old cars that somebody butchered and uh, how to do that. So let me get out into the garage and cut y'all back on once I get everything out to the garage that I'm gonna use. So yeah, cut y'all back on in a minute. Man, so we made it into the garage messing with these and we already found one problem that I should have checked, but no biggie. We'll just return these and get a smaller one. These three and a halves do not fit the dash. They're actually too big to slide in. If y'all can see that, they're too big to fit the hole with the uh, screen on because these actually mount to the uh, little finish cover on the dash. But... I mounted one up inside the door right there, which it actually looks pretty good, but I got to take it back out because I'm going to have to run a wire through my harness up into the dash to get those to work. But like I said, I'll do that off camera. I don't have time to go through all that. I'm just trying to show y'all like a rundown of what we're going to do. But as I was saying, if you look at this, this is absolute spaghetti. The dude just, I mean, he's got wires extended everywhere, which I don't know which is which. So that's why I had to resort to my old, you know, see if y'all can see this schematic, man, that we pulled for this on a Monte Carlo, El Camino, all of that. This is an 85. I pulled the one for 86 too, and there are differences, so make sure you get the right schematic for your car. And remember, you always read a schematic from the top to the bottom. If anybody tells you other than that, they ain't got no damn sense and don't listen to them. So what we got is we need to find our, um, our radio power, which we need, you know, you don't want your radio powered up at all times. So this yellow wire, as you see, will be the one we're looking for. And I think I'm going to use my display. I'm gonna run the display hot off of my uh cigarette lighter fuse because that one i mean you can leave it powered up it's not going to power the radio even though it says hot at all times the display won't run without the power so a lot of people when they do that they'll run the display and the power together but i'm gonna separate them do it this way and see how it works out and uh like i said i'm not going to do all this together and just get it all soldered and heat shrinked and all that stuff today I'm just loosely getting it all for y'all so y'all can see it. So I started looking in here and with a schematic and I found my yellow wire and I got it routed. And I also ran my uh, display wire and my ground. Let's see if y'all can see in here how crusty this is. He's got a lot of, so right there is my yellow wire, which I found. And I hook my test light to it, which it does put power out whenever it's hooked up. And then my red wire, which he has these piggybacked. You can tell with this yellow wire, because I think he was trying to piggyback his power off of the cigarette lighter, courtesy light. 
And this is where I ran my display at. Like I said, all this is just loose. For now, I haven't really done anything. And listen to me, I'm not using butt connectors. Do not use butt connectors in a car. I don't care how many times people say it, it's all right. Solder and heat shrink everything. Unless it's, you know, something that you want to take apart down the line, but butt connectors add resistance. I don't care what anybody says. Take that and listen to me when I'm, I promise you, butt connectors add resistance and you don't want that. Just cause all kind of hanky stuff. And I also found my ground, which is pretty easy. Most cars use a black period as ground. And I know I should tape these off and all the whatever the expert mechanics be on here telling me, tape it off, tape it off. I'm, they're not touching, I don't care. So once I get it, show y'all that it runs, that it works, then we gonna, uh, I'll take it apart, tape it all up and get it going. And then we'll show y'all how it sounds once I do that. I'm just probably gonna hook up one speaker. So let me set this camera down and I can hook this radio together and then we'll see if it, the screen actually powers up on this radio plugged in my radio and we gonna power the key on and see if this thing will power up Let's see what happens so we in accessory and there it is turn it off see if we lose power to the screen screen powers down screen powers up so therefore we know we can actually hook this up this way. Oh, well, crap, that fell over. <laughs> but anyway, I can actually hook this up in this manner right here and everything will be fine because that display is actually powering off when I turn power off to the key. So that should be fine. I won't have to worry about it running the whole time and it won't power up with the key off. I can't just come in and turn the radio off. So that works. Right now, we're just gonna decipher all our speaker wires and go through those on my schematic. Go through all those speaker wires, hook those all up and see how this thing sounds. I would do that, but I record videos on my cell phone because a DSLR is expensive and the cell phone quality is just the same. So this has just been another video, man, showing y'all how easy it is to do this stuff yourself. Stop paying these shops to fix your cars do it by yourself it's so much easier and so much cheaper yeah man thank y'all for watching another video man and uh yeah we got we gonna have music in the monte carlo before too long so like comment subscribe man check y'all in the next video